Have you ever played in a Wright-Patterson Mahjong tournament? They're timed, you know. You need to make quick decisions. If you don't make quick decisions, you might not have time to get in four games in a session. I would not want to be the cause of that. So I practice. I practice making quick decisions by doing what I call Charleston sprints. At least you can make quick decisions through the Charleston and that way you can kind of take your time through the pick and discard phase of the game. Now you do have to consider that there are three other players at the table that could cause a little bit of a delay. But at least it won't be your fault if you don't get in those hands. But you gotta practice. If you have a set at home, try it and let me know how it goes for you. My goal is to make decisions in under a minute, 30 seconds. I think for advanced players, for Wright Patterson Mahjong, that's a good guideline. If you're an intermediate player, try to make decisions in under two minutes. And then if you're a beginner, under three. If those are uh, diff too difficult, just make guidelines for yourself, whatever you think is good, but push yourself. That's the whole goal. Push yourself to make quick decisions. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed. We're going to say we're the dealer for these exercises. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. Let's roll for prevailing for sprint one. I rolled a four, so that would be north. So north is prevailing, we're in east seat. I'm gonna deal myself 14 tiles and create a mock Charleston. Look at all those honors, including a pair. I'm thinking either Betty or hands of honors. Let's discard these three. There's a white dragon. We have a five, two. Let's see. Oh, shoot. I'm taking too much time. I think a hands of honors with all those. I don't want to pass that. Okay, I think we should split that up. Let's play hands of honors. South. Nine. Uh-oh, we're gonna have to pass like numbers. That's terrible, but we're playing a big hand. Lap, north, keep it. So we have three discards, another like numbers here. So I think hands of honors here, we have Let's look, look at that. All the dragons and a Pung. I wonder if we could have played a date hand with all those dragons. That's okay, we, got, we have uh, hands of honors here. I almost said we got stuck with hands of honors, but hey, I would love to be stuck with hands of honors. Those are, almost all of them are double limit hands. So that's not a bad thing. Okay, so we have news and dragons. What about dragon snooze? Number 72 on page 26. Pungs of each dragon with news and one when paired. We've got news. We would need to pair up the dragons, of course, and then Pung. That is very nice. We could also potentially play trade wins, number 70. Four Pungs of wins and dragons and a pair of terminals. We only have one multiple here, though, this Pung. I think probably... Maybe Dragon Gale, number 74, same page. Four Pungs and a pair of Winds and Dragons, any combination. I think we have several that we could work through. I think it would be really fun to play Dragon Snooze. We've got news. Okay, let's do the next one. If you would have done something differently with these, Right, sprint one and what you would have done. Maybe Betty would have been good. I don't know. 
but I like going for big hands. I like big hands and I cannot lie. We have four six four six four six pair north news right here news we have all oh my goodness news okay i'm thinking maybe there's a um i don't know the transition hands very well but i know there's news hands in there news pungy news three different numbers punged in mixed suits three different numbers punged in mixed suits we have a six three four Oh, we don't have the right band. Three different numbers punged in the same suit. Newsy pungs. Six, four. Okay. Or we could maybe even play double numbers. Four, six, four, six. We can't keep it all. Let's discard these three. There's a six. Five, eight. Six, six, I'm thinking maybe four, six, four, six. Let's discard these three. Let's try for double numbers. Two, eight, three, we don't need any of those. Lap. Three discards, we can't use all these wins though. Let me read double numbers to you. Double numbers is a double limit hand on page 22, number 38. Two pungs of the same number in two suits with a pair of Windsor Dragons. Oh, six discards. That's terrible. But we can pung, pung, pung. Oh, no, no, we need a pair. Pung, pung, pair up. Let's see, the other option, let's just look again at that, um, Transition hand. Where did that go? Three different numbers. Three different numbers. One suit or mixed suit with news. See, we'd have to give up a pair. Four, two, or three. That would be only four discards if we played... Let's see, the mixed suit one is called Newsy Pungs. I think we're probably closer to Newsy Pungs than we are double numbers. Or keep. Five. Nope. Okay, so I think this is better. Newsy pungs. I think I would just keep all of these. The nine we wouldn't need probably. We've got sixes. We don't need those or those. Really, it's this BAM that's the problem. I think I would just keep all these and just pick and discard until we pair up. Okay, so that was the original. Newsy, let's see. Newsy Pungs, number 19 on page 19. No, that's not right. Yeah, it is right, huh? Number 19 on page 19. Okay, so I know I've oscillated a little bit. This was the hand I picked. All right, let's go on to the third sprint. Pair of North, five, eight, five, six, eight, eight. Dots, we have the mostly dots, six. I think I would give up the one. I'm considering 
a number hand again, five, six, or five, eight. Five, six, or five, eight. Let's give up, oh, the seven. We can recover one dot, maybe. There's a six. Five, six, five, six. We can give up the one, the three, and the eight. Double numbers, in which case we don't need that. Oh, goodness sake, look at that. That's terrible. Let's give up the one. Five, six, five, six. One, one, two, eight. Lap. Five, six, five, six, six pair. Okay, so here we have six discards. That's a bit rough. We could always play maybe something with dots. I think I would probably hold the dots and get rid of those first. But I would try double numbers here. Let me just read that again. Double numbers. Page 22, number 38. Two pungs of the same number and two suits with a pair of winds or dragons. So we would need to pair up the six dot or the five and the five bam and pung and pung. Well, of course, and pung here too. So we would have work to do for sure. Six discards, terrible. Let's see how things went here with time. Those were really hard. And the discards, oh my goodness. I try to have four or fewer discards. Those had many discards, way too many discards. That was gonna take a lot of work for each one of those sprints. We'll see how the timing was though. Sprint one, one minute, 12 seconds. Sprint two, one minute, 33. Sprint three, one minute, 25. So all but one were under one minute 30, but I'm not proud of that because those those discards were horrible. Oh, this is why I like to practice. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself and let me know how it goes for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston Sprints for Wright Patterson Mahjong. May all your picks be keepers.